like you. I'm talking to you. Not him. Not him either. I'm talking to you. Hey all, this is JR Cadet. Just wanted to take this time out today to share my personal life transforming testimony with each and every one of you guys of how God intervened in my life and transformed my life from who I was to who I am today, the man that I am today in Christ. I um, attended TCU back in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas Christian University, now in a Big 12 conference. Um, upon completion of my degree, and um, at the end of my eligibility as a college athlete, a top athlete at TCU, I had uh, got invited to work out for the Houston Rockets. I did that, went very well. Got invited to work out for the Chicago Bulls and the NBA also. And unfortunately, due to their schedule and my schedule at the time, we were not able to make that work. But going on, I started to play uh, professional basketball in Europe. And um, to cut a long story short, I was in the world, was not saved back in 2012, um, was having fun and sin and uh, doing the things that I wanted to do. And, and just, I just drifted away from God. I had a brother back in the Bahamas praying for me, warning me and telling me to get things right with God and um, give my life to Jesus. But at that time, and at that point in my life, I was making too much money and um, I had no time for Jesus. But God got a hold of me that night. I went out that night, got into a bad altercation, a very bad brawl. I was defending myself, attacked by seven guys, and I lost my life that night. The same praying brother back in the Bahamas had a dream from God of how God showed him that his prayers kept me. He was holding on to me in that dream. His hands, he was holding on to me in that dream, and God showed him that because of his prayers, I'm still here today. But that night, I lost my life, and Jesus showed up. And ever since that encounter and that experience with Jesus that night, I've never been the same. I've heard a lot of different, of different things around the world as far as religion and what is the right way and this is the right way. But I'm here to encourage you and tell you that Jesus is the right way. And there's no other name under the, the sun by which men can or will be saved. You see, Jesus is not one of the ways to God. He's the only way. And ever since I accepted Jesus in my heart, my life has never been the same. So I encourage you today, hear me and listen to my testimony and let it speak to you, minister to your heart. I lost my life. I didn't know that night that I was gonna lose my life because tomorrow was promised to no man and tomorrow was not promised to me, but I was hard headed and I would not listen to my brother. And I lost my life within seconds. And so I encourage you today, open up your heart, if you have it, and receive Jesus. He is the one and only way. He's not just one of the ways. I repeat, Jesus is the only way. That night when I lost my life, nobody else showed up. Muhammad didn't show up. Allah didn't show up. Buddha didn't show up. But Jesus Christ showed up. And so I wanted to take this time to share my personal life testimony with you guys and encourage you and let you know that Jesus is the way. He loves you no matter what you've done. He loves you and he wants a relationship with you. God bless each and every one of you.